Good morning, everybody. This is Workout Workshop. My name is Igor. Welcome to my channel. Right now, I'm sitting in a far away from working out position and situation because I decided that I'm going to switch the style of my content again and again and try to give you more informative videos. Please like and subscribe, join our community. But for those ones who actually want to see the workout flow that I do in a raw format, I want to invite you to the ZGT workouts. Check it out. I decided I'm going to give my own intake on each and single pretty popular topics in the fitness and nutrition area. The first one I would like to start with is the most painful in my opinion. We're going to speak about body dysmorphia. What is body dysmorphia? And for that, I decided to give you a definition from Wikipedia. Body dysmorphia is mental illness involving obsessive focus on perceived flaw in appearance. Majority of words that I just pronounced, I cannot translate. So I just want to give you the scientific, as they say, definition of what we're going to speak today. But as an experienced athlete and human being, I would like to give you my own intake on body dysmorphia and how should you challenge it and use it for your own benefit. Body dysmorphia is when individual is expecting to have certain type of the body, but realizing that he or she is not even close to that and whatever he or she is doing is not working and people get miserable. Oftentimes, the body dysmorphia is caused by social media. We see all the idols, as we call them, the people who have decent amount of following in social media and the people who have pretty well photoshopped, beautiful picture of their bodies. This is materialistic world and we are easy to get influence from something shiny and beautiful like cars, like houses, like vacations, like jewelry, clothes, gadgets. And people nowadays with the modern society look at their bodies with the same materialistic perspective. The problem is that those idols that people try to be like on social media, they're far away from displaying their reality. Majority of social media pictures are made to impress you, meaning there's included Photoshop, there's a professional photographer like my friend in front of me, there's shadows, there's all the circumstances just to make the physique look the best on that particular capture. So you can feel that you're not good enough looking on what's in front of you. Now we have unrealistic idols who invest in that particular image to look the best unrealistically they can on the social media and the followers who follow them trying to become like them. Of course, when you, me or anybody else compares their current shape with the number one well-edited image on the social media, anybody would feel fat, anybody would feel miserable and anybody would ask themselves, what am I doing wrong? Why? I don't look like this. And that's where we get the biggest scam in social media because we are presented the image that almost re unrealistic to achieve. And then we have a whole bunch of people, men, women, who try to chase that delusional result. And because that result, hypothetically, for most people will never come, including for me, the frustration is going to be forever until you really sort out things in your mind, which I'm going to try to help you do now. First of all, right now, you got to ask yourself, what are you doing in a training space or trying to fix your nutrition for? What is the goal? And I'm going to upset you, which I'm just going to be true about. First of all, if your goal is to get ready for summer, for wedding, to impress girlfriend, boyfriend, to impress friends, go out, turn off this video, your goals are not real. And I know you're gonna get upset, but it's easier to tell you that you are driven by wrong motivation right now than after two years when you waste your time. If your goals are training, discipline, the process of consistency, and you're not looking great enough as you want to, you don't have body dysmorphia. You're just not there yet. 
feel the difference. The guy who enjoys the process, who enjoys the consistency, who believes in discipline, just doesn't have enough experience to put it all together well and see the result, does not have body dysmorphia. He is just not there yet. But the people who are driven by materialistic standards, who want to look a certain way, sure, they will forever be stuck in a body dysmorphia because the image they want to look like at never exists, and so their goals are delusional. For myself, as a YouTuber, I want to have the biggest, prettiest image here. That means I try to go under the best shadow. I try to make my body look best. But I want to give you a couple examples. So there's different body uh, look under different circumstances. You know, it's like we all men are all equal in ice cold water, right? <laughs> For that exact reason, when you wake up, and when you're not pumped on, you don't look the certain way. If I go under the brightest light right now, I don't want to look at myself. Why? Because I suddenly don't have any definition. I suddenly look flat and bloated and like this is a disaster. Comparing to when I go under the shadow light, when I get some pump, get some blood flow, maybe a little bit, I don't know, baby oil, <laughs> which I don't do. God damn it, I'm going to look like a, king, like a god, of course delusionally, but the difference of the visual look of the body is going to be significant. In the past, I used to be frustrated that sometimes I look in the mirror under unbeneficial light and I look like shit and I'm like, what is it for? And then the next day in the gym, I get some pump, I go under shadow, I see some veins on the biceps, I'm like, I'm doing good. So where is the reality? Where is the truth? The truth is right here. You got to understand that your body transforms, your body adapts, adjusts. That means if your body is doing muscular work, if you're training, if you're pumped, you, as a matter of fact, will look bigger, rounder, and visually more optimized for gym training work. But when you're relaxed, when you're loose, maybe don't have enough carbohydrates in your system, then you look flat. That's normal. That's as well your body optimization. Your body cannot always look pumped. Your body cannot always be under beneficial light. So sometimes when you put your eyes into the mirror that is not going to satisfy you well, you should not get upset because it's nothing but a game of lighting and shadows. What is really important is that you, as an athlete, as a somebody who believes in discipline, keep your consistency and you accept your body under different circumstances, under different activities and under different optimization. That means if you go on a vacation, you have to be ready to drop a couple pounds and look flat because that's what you're doing. You're relaxed. The same way you have to be ready to look pumped and be impressed of yourself when you're in a training space. Things and circumstances change. Your body is a mechanism. It's not a stationary statue that's going to always impress you. It's the optimization mechanism that is going to optimize and adapt for whatever activity you are doing right now. Having said all that, I would like to tell you that if you are chasing the image on the Instagram, you will always be miserable, you will always be wrong, no matter what level you're at, you're gonna look at some top guys and you're gonna feel down, small, because you can't uh, buy or train things like genetics, things like some of the past circumstances, you can't. Some people are winners in their lucky situation, some are not, but we all have the ability to make the best out of, out of ourselves. So if me, I'm going to start trying to look like my friend Akim Supreme or Goku Pump with a chest like this, I will be forever upset because my genetics is quite different. My body is optimized for different things and I discovered the best that I can make out of my body. But before, if I'd look at somebody else, I try to be focused more on his genetics rather than discover mine. And that is the biggest uh, red light in our progress. All you have to do is pay attention to your own self. All you have to do is see yourself as the only example you have because there's so many billion people in the world and each of them is different. That means your DNA is different from anybody else's DNA who was potentially living here 
in the history of the world. So the only measurement that you have is you, and the only work that you have to do is on you. So the only thing you can get satisfied and never witness body dysmorphia is when you look at yourself and you let your body develop equally under different situations and circumstances. I want to invite you to sh share a comment, press like, subscribe, and just give me more ideas of what would you like to hear me talking about. I'm far away from being professional, but I have experience in logics, and I'm going to try to sort out the most important in fitness area topics from my own perspective. I'll see you soon.